well, we probably need uh, a different type of facial covering over the last couple of days, trying to keep that wind, that cold, cold wind away from us, but maybe some changes for us. Uh, big changes as we head into the coming week. We're talking about temperatures moving up to near 80 degrees as uh, so it goes here in North Texas. And hopefully, fingers crossed, as we move into the month of March, we are finally breaking out of this cold weather and uh, maybe not have to deal with it for, well, November, December, maybe we'll see, but hopefully this is the last of it because as somebody who used to like the colder temperatures, I've about had it up to here with it. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, take a look at the time lapse. I'll tell you what a messy afternoon it has been. I'll tell you it's uh, just really nasty out there as we take a live look out over Fort Worth. High temperature today, 40 degrees. That is about it. But you know what? 90, not looking so bad. Set back in 1917. Satellite and radar. You see those rain showers coming to an end as they continue to push off into the eastern part of the viewing area here. A few scattered showers out there along 75 up near 635. Uh, maybe out towards the Mesquite area as well. A few light showers still ongoing, but really most most of the area slowly beginning to dry out. Temperatures 36 right now in Dallas. We've got 37 in McKinney, 38 in Gainesville. Take your pick. 36, 37, 38 looks to be a pretty good number area wide. Overnight tonight, as those skies, skies begin to clear, we're talking about temperatures down to around freezing 30, 31 degrees, 32, 33, 34. Take your pick. 34 at Love Field, 33 Dallas, 31 in Duncanville. Highs tomorrow should make it into those mid 50s. And our northern counties, temperatures again right at or just slightly below freezing. Highs tomorrow here once again in the lower 50s. We've got 53 in Frisco, Allen, and Plano. And then finally in our southern counties, temperatures again right around freezing with 32 degrees in Waxahachie, 32 in Italy, and 30 in Burleson with highs tomorrow in those low to mid 50s. Satellite and radar across the state. This is where the action is across the Arklatex there, pushing up into southern and central portions of Arkansas. And it is very cold, even where it's not raining. 42 right now in San Antonio, 41 in Houston, 34 degrees out there in Abilene. Nationwide, not a whole lot going on. Fairly quiet. Some rain pushing across the Carolinas. We are monitoring storm systems out across the Pacific. Here's how it all plays out. The upper level pattern, you'll notice high pressure begins to develop and then settles in right across the southern heartland, right over our area. Translation, lots of sunshine as we head into the coming week. But you'll notice a menacing area of low pressure off the coast of California. That is our next rainmaker, it looks like, as we head into Saturday. So next weekend, looking like perhaps another wet one. All right, future skies. We take a look here. The rain continues to push on off to the east. There's your clearing line heading into five o'clock tomorrow morning. So when I say tomorrow is going to be unbelievably different than what we saw for today, it is going to be dramatic. We're talking about lots of sunshine in your forecast, but it doesn't last as the clouds begin to build back in heading into your Monday. But I really think it's going to be a pretty nice week overall. So we've got 56 degrees heading into your Sunday, 64 on Monday, mid 70s heading into Wednesday, near 80 on Thursday. And we'll continue to watch that that chance of rain heading into next Saturday, but Desmond, that's quite a ways off.